So we actually just got some pretty crazy news and I'm not going to lie, I've never done a video like this, so bear with me. As you guys know, I've made a lot of videos in the past on my old channels to this channels, videos about Mr. T basically just saying how much I love him, how much I love his content and everything like that. But as you guys know, the past couple weeks, there's been a ton of drama, a lot of drama of his apparently his crazy ex and him being absolutely insane. Honestly, I don't even know what word to believe, but apparently Lex just uploaded a video about 30 minutes to an hour ago. I don't know when you guys are seeing this, but it's actually him clearing himself up. And if I'm being honest, from everything we saw from the video, it looks like he clearly does actually end up clearing himself and his name, not only for his brand and his content, but for himself as an actual person while actually exposing some other YouTubers. For example, the Smith plays JC Backfire and Noah J. Mostly those three have been quote unquote exposed, if you want to say, especially the JC plot twist was absolutely insane. What he stated in his video was that JC, apparently his ex ended up seeing JC at, a, I believe, a carnival making out or kissing with his now girlfriend's sister when they were dating at the time. That is actually just beyond crazy. And he was also going after Noah J for saying, how can like JC and Noah defend when Pat made this video, the Smith plays, but apparently they can't defend Lex when Lex didn't uh, like have his full case out, but yet he tweeted out and also uh, like visibly contacted the Smith plays in the screenshot saying like, Hey, can you please, can we talk about this? Everything like that. But apparently he not listen. And that's when Smith plays made his video, which Noah and JC agreed with him saying that they're backing up uh, Patrick's, the Smith plays. So honestly, this whole kind of thing is just confusing. It's definitely some juicy, juicy stuff. But more in today's video, we'll learn and see about the famous Call of Duty YouTuber, Mr. T Lexify. And when I say everyone, I literally mean a pretty much about everyone besides like crazy rabbit i believe but everyone thought my man was out of the game but clearly he is not he is back as of for now i mean we don't know he had never said if he's returning to youtube or what his plans or goals are but we are actually uncertain if he ever comes back to youtube we don't know if he's gonna be posting another explanation video if she tries to come at him again or if he comes at her again if he's gonna do another video on that or if we're gonna see if like the lawyers can see if they can close up everything with a police department because apparently lex actually does have some lawyers and police working on this case right now which she does not have anyone working working against him right now which is why it seems like lex is kind of like winning this war i honestly will not say which side i'm on go lex and still some actual crazy stuff that happened which happened in the video was mr t saying that she was over 18 dating a minor when he was 17 years old now, honestly, that is just ridiculous. Mr. T also in this video said that he and her, Regan or Reagan or something like that, did not have any sexual relationship at all. And apparently her faking the ID passport, which we all saw in the her explanation, apparently that was all fake. And she's the one that did it because they were going to go do a horror escape room. Lex wanted to get out of there, but apparently she was like, no, I want to do it. I want to be here. So she's the one that faked it, which is why Smith Play said that, uh, yes, Lex did fake it because he never knew, which she also lied about her age to Lex and everyone at the Z house. Sorry, my dog is barking. Murphy. Murphy! Also, Mr. T in his video for about like two and a half minutes to three minutes to four minutes also had this TikToker explain what a convert narcissist, I can never say that word, is. And in the video, he also exposes a ton of screenshots, just looking at some screenshots, which I'm not going to show on screen. You guys can actually go ahead over and to watch his video. I really don't want to put up any like false stuff, even though he's... I mean, to play all this uh, screenshots right here, but apparently there's some saying like, what should Lex and I be for Halloween? The way I see you guys calling Lexi Boogie Beer in his stream. And it's like this anime girl saying it's currently spiraling into, into insanity that they'll, they'll be back. Lex is cute. Bye. Good morning to Lex. Like I, I, I what I'm seeing is that all of this stuff is him just trying to defend himself, which I think he is defending himself well, because as you guys see, she looks like she is absolutely obsessed. And with what they're saying, what this guy is saying with the TikTok message and him exposing all the screenshots is basically all these like mood different switches. And she definitely has a ton of them. Can you stop crying to me now? Can you let me be? I said, I can talk to you about this tomorrow. You ruin my Mexico trips every single time. You are a parasite in my life. Lexan responded like, I'm sorry. I want to be romantic with you. I want to be everything you want in a boyfriend. And then she also says, I'm not going to release this doc and keep treating me like this and keep saying dumb 
and I will keep playing the victim and I'll make you the victim, which is what we actually did see in the part one document and part two document after her. And it seems like everyone, when Lex posted the first document, everyone kind of ignored it. Just listen to her first one and her second document, which honestly, this is a case. And it seems like Lex is, I, I'm going to be honest. It seems like Lex is winning this now with everything that he has said. Obviously, we're going to kind of wait to see what she says one more time. See if the lawyers actually do get involved with anything. But this is why you guys just never jump on the bandwagon right away. I mean, it seems like literally every single person jumped on her side sending Lex, like he said, a ton of death threats, a ton of stuff like end yourself. Honestly, that you should never say that. It's the saddest thing in the entire world that someone can get just a ton of messages like those. You never want to see that. I've gone through a lot of that stuff. Not as much as that, but... Yeah. Lex also talks about her cheating multiple times. Apparently, she cheated four to five times in the relationship when Lex only knew it was with two people with a guy named Lawrence who was also 17, which I mentioned way earlier. And she was in three or seven car accidents total, two car accidents. If you guys know about the bruises that she posted, Lex basically debunked all of those bruises. Lex showed that there was movers into the day where the movers were helping her move out of her old apartment to a new apartment, which Lex was spending money on her, which was spending like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. He also spent like a 12,000 Canadian dollars, I don't know what it is to American, on an Airbnb where she actually like destroyed this board and ended up like hitting the wall multiple times, which the landlord of that Airbnb reached out to him, making Lex pay all the stuff. When she was saying that like Lex was buying her weed and everything like that, but what seemed like was happening with that situation was her friends were buying it for her, but she was trying to point it at Lex that she was underage and he was buying that for her. And that's what made her something like this. I don't know. But in some of these tweets, she says, so cute. I'm going to download it right now. And then Lex says, hi, babe. I beat the whole second chapter. I just finished streaming. And then she says, hi, I have something to tell you. Lex says, yes, love. I want to date Lawrence. I'm going to date him. I'm sorry. He asked me out and it's a sad unicorn face. And that's the end of it. But at this time, I'm pretty sure Lawrence was 17 years old. She was about 20 years old. <laughs> That, that's just a case right there. Lex also goes and talks about all the physical abuse, online messages, and in person that she did to Lex with the Lex little bruise. Lex debunking that, saying that's not how that actually happened, and that Lex apparently choked her, not choked her, for because she was actually trying to actually end his life. Some of her text, she says, Lawrence, my dude, get over it. The way you expect me to get over this, you're being progressive. This has started because you don't treat me like a girlfriend and I got upset. Keep talking to me like that, Lex. I have all these screenshots on my phone. Well, with everything that Lex has shown, it seems like Lex is in the clear with this because he, Lex, showed the dates, the times, and it seems like it's good. Also, what I want to bring up is what Smith Place also said in his video where Lex did fly out with her to go somewhere else. Lex in the video said it was to his cousin's house. And Lex also did say that one of the reasons where she said that she got a bruise from was because Lex beat her up. It was the same night that Lex had no money, negative money in his bank account because of her, that Lex had nowhere else to stay. So he was forced to over to sleep over at her house, which they did nothing at all. But she tried saying that she did something because there was a ton of like a like a big big bruise, like tons of bruises all over her leg from a car accident. And Lex was saying that it was like literally physically impossible to get a, that type of bruise just by physical force and not like a car, which she got in a car accident that day. Looking at some of these screenshots though, like I, I don't get what she's saying. You insult me every day with your actions, but poor, poor Lex. Send me money now or I'm going to make a Twitter thread. Lex said, I am tired of this. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to effing ruin your you and your website, which bringing up like the website, Lex also debunked probably one of the most important things. There was a letter that she posted the other day, a letter that he sent in the mail gift packages that they would send to each other that she completely lied about, which Lex said, because it, at the bottom of the letter, it says like the website that you go on to. And with the website, if you actually look that up, it's not to anything real. Like it's not to Lex's website at all. It's not to Lex's like business at all. So whenever you look that up, it's not the right one. And Lex actually showed the right one. So it's all of the messages right there was forged by her in the actual letter. Bringing that up, there was also another one. As you guys saw, there was like a ton of phone screenshots that she showed in case ones and two. You can tell they're all fake because you can, it's so funny. You can tell they're fake because it, uh, at the top right, it says 5G. At the time of like the actual screenshots happening, which were in like 2019, 2020, 2017 era, there was no such thing as 5G yet, only 4G. 
So I don't get that. I mean, she just exposed herself like that. Going on, Lex talks about the whole entire grooming situation as well. About like literally hundreds of messages saying, perhaps I've been in love with you for a while. Did I ever tell you how I would cry over you when we didn't even know each other? She was fantasizing some crazy stuff about them before they even got together. Lex also, I'm going to say this word a lot, debunked his uh, situation with talking to 18 year old girls when he was talking to everyone 20 years old, which they weren't even dating at the time. So technically nothing is wrong with that. If he's over 18 and he's on a dating platform where you have to legally be 18 years old to talk, he was just talking to some girls because he was trying to get over the fact of being with her because she was abusive, being a groomer, cheating, and also just literally being or dating like underage kids. Lex also then just goes into the Z house. I'm not going to really go over. It. I talked about it a little bit with the whole Z house situation with the Smith plays Noah getting exposed for cheating on his wife and, it, and everyone agreed or like was still on his side. But like when I said earlier, Lex made a video and no one was on his side. He even tried contacting Pat. Pat looked at the message, still made the video and agreed on to her side. Lex then also comes back and fully exposes JC. When I tell you we were watching this in Discord with some friends to see what he was going to say, none of us could ever imagine what he actually said. And oh, dude, I can't believe that actually happened. JC getting exposed was definitely not on my 2024 list. Let me tell you that. Lex also goes by apology talking. Lex also goes over just the entire apology of everything that's happened. Every YouTubers that's been like also careers getting destroyed, like Smith plays uh, career not exploding or like getting like being over with yet, but also just for the fact that his a lot of his comments are all people talking about the Lex situation. Same with the JC stuff before we just found out what actually happened. All of his comment section were all about everything. Milo's the only one that's safe out of this. Lex also just went over some brief points in the video which he did show a lot of screenshots of her actually messaging, which let me tell you, there's some really disturbing messages on here. Like, I can't believe someone would actually just say that to him, to anyone. How can you say that? She absolutely had some weird kinks where she loved being the little girl and she wanted Lex to be the older man. She even said multiple times that she wants an older man in her life, that she doesn't want anyone younger, but she did that. But yet she was 20 dating a 17 year old for a little bit. I uh, That is so wrong. Lex goes in and he also, one of the funniest points, because I feel like he just quickly briefed over this, but in the way he said it was so funny. Uh, in her uh, defense in the document too, she said, for reference, Lex is 6'1", and at the time weighed 250 pounds. Lex goes over this and says, I never weighed 250 pounds. Uh, no comment, no comment. She also said in the document, uh, he's a chronic cheater, but I didn't know this was bad. Hundreds of thousands of dollars a month was being spent on only fans. And Lex said that he, and apparently Lex blamed it all on Christianity, which was, that's what she said. Lex talked over this by saying that that is all false. He didn't even make that much money a month, especially with having to spend all the money on her. Lex also talked about just Christianity and being sorry that he never tried to use this as like a way to like try to sneak out of it or get out of it. Obviously, I know Lex has been very Christian for at least the past couple of years. He did talk about an experience about him being on like a rooftop and just kind of like overthinking his life and everything like that. I know we all kind of get like that and he decided to choose the way of god which a lot of people did think that he was using that as an excuse but by him explaining some of the stuff in the video obviously you can tell that was just not true lex talked about all the legal findings about an ongoing legal investigation that is happening as well as he is suing her for abusive actions over the years which by all these screenshots and everything that i have seen so far it really does seem like Lex could win this war. And I don't mean that in a good or bad way. Obviously, we're going to wait to see what she says on her case. But honestly, overall, this video was absolutely crazy. I cannot believe it. Like I said, I grew up watching Lex's content. A lot of my content is actually inspired by Lex. A lot of my personality is inspired by Lex. One of the greatest times I've ever that I've ever lived was the Z House Times with Lex in it. So when I tell you this whole situation has, uh, has been making me go crazy, honestly. Honestly, with this entire situation... I never thought this would ever happen, especially to a YouTuber I did watch. But you guys can never make the judgment about jumping too fast onto the bandwagon if you don't know the full side of the story. Like I said, I will be waiting for her side now because I assume she's going to come back. We'll see what she says. Then we'll see if Lex says anything after that. And then we'll see if any lawyers get involved, like big time lawyers. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.